Good morning. So how to build a nutrition plan fit for your lifestyle. If you come in and give me a hello, if you're on replay, drop a replay. So um, not, what normally happens whenever we go away is that um, Mrs. Brucci does all the packing for everyone else. And then I say, well, I'll, I'll, pack, I'll get my packing done. I'll do my packing. And I normally leave it to the last minute, like always, like five minutes. Have you packed it? I'll do it. It'll take a minute. Then I pack and I either, I either pack, let me know if you can resonate with anyone you know who like this. I either pack too much because I can't be bothered to think about how much I need or I pack not enough. And then I turn around and say, did you pack my insert here? And where I'm going with this is this. I end up here or wherever, over a weekend or whatever, a night, and I either have loads, so much stuff, I'm like, to carry all this stuff around why have I packed so much or not enough and I'm missing someone I'm borrowing someone else's trousers in one case my father-in-law's shoes and trousers from a meal out which probably isn't the best way to impress them but anyway that was um a few years back now I think I've earned my um worth now anyway the reason I'm sharing with you I'm sharing this with you is it is this relates to how we approach diet sometimes we either have too much choice and then we end up kind of basically doing nothing and or just struggling to get results because there's so much choice or we have not enough choice which is great short term because it limit choices less willpower however long term we end up with a strategy where we're either on it or off it when actually the secret is somewhere in the middle and we call this the nutrition baseline so you can be a hundred percent on it and when you're a hundred percent on it like proper on it that seems like it would be great but actually it's, it's kind of not because you're actually neglecting something else at this time. And there's a time and a place for that. But equally, when you're 0% on it, that's where most of the damage is done. So this is why having flexibility. So let's say there's, you look at calories. Ultimately, to achieve weight loss, fat loss, you need to achieve a calorie. You need to be in a calorie deficit. You will lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit. Now, those calories can be made up, we know from research, of pretty much anything and you will lose weight. Obviously, there's more to it in terms of health reasons and long term, but you will lose weight. And sticking to it, for example, let's start adding a bit more structure this, to this now. Let's take 1,500 calories a diet. You could make that up of anything. If that's a deficit for you and you stick to that, you will lose weight. However, if, you, if from those calories a higher protein proportion is coming in, you're probably going to feel fuller for longer. You might see superior body composition changes like for example muscle tone which is going to be beneficial you might recover better if you are exercising as well which is definitely recommended if you've got a health goal anyway so now we're starting to think okay i need protein so let's let's add some structure into this flexibility and go okay can i aim for protein every meal and if you're like well there's no way i, I hate any protein sources at breakfast like eggs yogurt anything like that okay cool let's aim for it at lunch and dinner let's try and get some milk in um to your breakfast even if it's porridge with dairy milk, for example, that's getting some protein. If you're using like oat milk or something like that, or uh, lactose free or dairy free, try for something like a soy milk. At least you're getting some protein in them. Um, oat milk will be lower in protein. But if that is the case, that's the case. Just aim to be a little bit better. So you're getting a little bit more structure already in. Now we can have a little rule. Okay, can I get veggies in every meal? I know this is going to keep me fuller for longer. I know this is going to increase my fibre. So all of a sudden, we're starting to build this 80-20. So it's like, okay, lunch and dinner, I'm going to aim for, this is where it gets a bit personal, and something that we do inside our Kickstarter, is I'm going to aim for two portions of veggies within this. And this is like tracking calories without tracking calories, ultimately. You can track calories, and this is a question for another day, but um, this is providing that structure within the flexibility. So you're now going, okay, we've got two veggies and a protein at a meal. Now I've got the rest as a bit more flexible. Do I have rice at that meal? Let's, let's go with our meal makers, for example. Let's go fist-sized portion of carbs here it could be some pasta rice whatever potato and don't underestimate the power of potato actually research shows that it is actually the most satiating food a baked potato and and if you actually ever track calories for a certain time you'll probably realize actually that you'll go actually you know what i can get quite a lot of um satisfaction for the amount i can eat for the calories of a baked potato compared to say how much pasta it's an interesting comparison actually because you'll you'll probably think that oh, actually, I'm not eating much pasta here, or this is a big jack potato, but actually they're the same calories and carbs, which is interesting. Now, remember that when they do this study on satiating and how satiety and full you feel, 
that they're looking at a baked potato in isolation, not with butter on top, not with everything on top of it, but that's one for another day. If you get some protein in there, you know, tuna jacket, um, uh, inside sweet corn, whatever, that's filling, lots of protein, lots of nutrition. Great, perfect. So can you see how we're providing some structure now? Now we've got a bit of structure inside our portions. We've got meals, it's easy to plan. You can be flexible. If you've got two veggies, one protein, if you go more veggies, whatever, you could, that could be stir fries. It's endless, really, the amount of meals you can make from that. Then you've got that flexibility to add in the 80-20. So then you're like, okay, 20% of uh, my foods can come from anything. And a good way to work this out is that, let's say you are in that 1500 calorie diet. So you've got that rigidness, you've got a bit of structure. Roughly, you're gonna get protein every meal. Roughly, a minimum two veggies in every meal. Then you've got, say, 20% to spend on what you like. So this could be like, uh, let's say 1500 calories, 10% 10 is 150 calories. So 20% would be 300 calories of anything you like. So you might go, oh, I'm gonna structure in some biscuits, I'm gonna structure in some, planning to have some, a slice of cake. I've, I've got that in the, in the locker if I want it. If I wanna go in and get that Halloween pumpkin spice latte, which is crazily like 300 calories or whatever, I can have that. If I want a slice of cake, I can have that. That gives that flexibility, but I don't have to. I could just have fruit instead. I have, could have some fruit and yogurt. I could have nothing instead. I could just accelerate and save those for the weekend a little bit. Then over time, we start to track this. And if things are going in the right direction, measurements, weight, we're doing some resistance exercise, which is gonna help change our body shape. All of a sudden now, we start to get data. And this is whether you do it from home with us. I always say this to people, whether you do this from home or in person, just that you get it done. And actually have that accountability to make sure that you do it. Because we want to prioritize our health, right? We often say, you know, health is important to me. But then we, morning, Nikki, but then we've got to consider, okay, how important is it if we're not doing it? If we're constantly putting it off? If we're constantly thinking in our heads that we have to be 100% on it? This is a big thing that we see a lot. Like, we're either on it or off it, when actually the sweet spot is in the middle. Can you, what could you do today? Okay, I can't get to my session. Can I do 10 minutes? Can I do one minute? Can I do five minutes? Can I fit, stop my meal when I'm, 80% full, like the Japanese have that saying. It's gone out of my head. If you can think of it, put it in the comments. Can't think what it's called, but it's about eating till 80% full. That's something that they practice a lot. So I hope that helps. Any questions, do let me know on that. Yes, have some flexibility. But too much flexibility may backfire. So have a little bit of structure in there as well. And you get that sweet spot. Like, And I'll give you another example while I'm here. Is let's say someone's done really well in shape shakes like three shakes a day done but they're like it's not sustainable it's not you know okay what's not sustainable that well when i go out in the evening or when i have an evening meal i'm like can't just do it then what, what do i do then okay cool breakfast and lunch are you in control of yes okay have shake shake then flexible in the, in the evening go for protein where you can go for veggies in that gives structure in the day less to think about there and then they can prioritize that evening meal and have that with the family have a bit more flexibility plan that in advance still sure aim for good choices but it gives you that flexibility and you could go one shake in the morning, two meals like that. Yeah. And it starts to build your own nutrition plan. And that is the secret. Then it's a case of trial and error. Are you getting results? If yes, keep going. If no, we're going to have to get deeper into it. And as hard as that sounds, it's the, it's the truth and how you'll actually be able to bottom out, how you'll be able to cut through all the rubbish out there that will just say your metabolism's broken. It's because of hormones. It's because of your blood sugar levels. It's because of whatever. They'll, and they'll sell you a supplement or something like that. When actually, this is the secret here. Consistency, collect data. Anyway, I hope that helps. Any questions, just let me know and I will see you soon. Awesome, Nikki. Yes, planning is key. Perfect. I'll see you later. Take care. Have an awesome day. Control what you can. Eat your protein, drink your water and stay out.